As you might have noticed, most of my projects are very pop culture inspired and being the neuro spicy millennial that I am, I love to impose my interests on those around me. And I have an obsession right now with A24 films. And by right now, I mean since they became a thing. And my cat needs a place to chill. So I thought, what better for the May Queen herself than the Fire Temple for Midsummer, so that she can sacrifice her victims to the old gods in style. Okay, here's the plan. Not to get too mathy here, but the temple itself is a tetrahedron, which is different from what I thought originally. But a tetrahedron is, if you remember back to high school geometry, it's a four-sided pyramid composed of equilateral, e e equilateral triangles, which makes it a little harder because I need to be precise in my cuts. I don't know if I'm gonna have a bottom piece because I'm not sure if I need it, but I, the things that I do know right now are that I'm gonna need some plywood, maybe some small trim or something that I can have fill in the gaps on the top because I am not about to miter and bevel with this whole thing that is like way beyond my skills. And I also need to make the doors and the little window at the top. I do wanna give her a little toy hanging from the window. If if the window's big enough, we'll see. But I was thinking like a little felt bear with a man face, and I'm gonna need to make a custom cushion for the inside. I got two lengths of plywood that are two feet by four feet, meaning that I think the widest I can or really should go is like two feet. I'm gonna need three or four equilateral triangles, which means every side is the same length. So I'm just gonna trace those out and then time to cut. Okay, so I think I made a mistake already. Good to know before I do any cutting though. So I was looking at this Fire Temple incense burner that I have from A24 and it's not a tetrahedron because these are not equilateral. There's the two on the sides are, what would you call that, a right triangle? Because if they weren't, this would not be perpendicular to the ground. And I don't want it to like lean back like a pyramid would. I need to figure out these two triangles real quick. So let me do some math and then trace again. <laughs> So my cuts are less than stellar, but um, it's a cat house. And I don't have a ton of experience with a table saw, only a little bit, even though I made our dining room table. And now I'm going to sketch out the door opening and the window, which I'm gonna cut with a jigsaw most likely. Okay, well it's not perfect by the stretch of anyone's imagination, much less mine, but I think it'll work. And I think I'm just gonna glue it and nail it together and see what happens. <laughs> and then I spent an inordinate amount of time just trying to piece everything together, much to my frustration and chagrin. Okay, sometimes, you know, if you're not much of a woodworker, you need a plan B, and that's where I'm at right now. So we're we're scrapping the tetrahedron idea because um, angle's hard. I don't know how, what I'm doing. Okay, so I just did a quick cut of two rectangles that we're gonna do as the sides. You know, Spider doesn't have to know that it's not exactly like the, the movie, but um, it'll look fine, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna whip up a quick and dirty cushion for the inside. It's not gonna be pretty, but it'll work for what it is. I'm gonna use some chair foam and this like leftover fall woodland fabric I found at Joanne for like four bucks a yard. So um, if she destroys it, no big deal. I can just rip it off and start again or wash it or whatever, so. Cute little 
little cushion now and it's like super soft. So that's cool. I left the end of it open, kind of like a pillowcase and just like tucked it in just in case I want to like take it off, pop it in the washer or whatever. Now on to our little bear friend. I'm just gonna trace out simple like teddy bear shape and a little circle for the face and then sew it all together and stuff some, eh, I'll stuff these remnants in there. Yeah, perfect. And then the next morning while the kids were playing outside, I decided to go ahead and work on the trim. And since it's generally frowned upon to use power saws around toddlers, I had to go with some more analog methods, which was really inefficient. People often ask me, how do I get everything done that I do with three toddlers running around? And this is really just a glimpse into what my daily life is like. I'm just really good at multitasking. And because of the aforementioned kids running around situation, I didn't angle the camera right to show you the little emblem at the top, but now you can see it. <laughs> 